five, four, three, two, one. So welcome to Biz Talk, gentlemen. This is our round table. I believe, Ren, we're gonna talk a little bit about AI. Yeah. So I, I just wanted to share, like we're at that time in a country where we're talking about digital literacy, and I think it's in need of a talking about AI literacy at the same time. A lot mm -hmm. of people are scared. It's scared. I was just going right? to say there's a... And I, I use interesting analogy. Like, think about uh, when the plane was invented. And you never seen a plane. And then I come to you and say, here's a metal box. You jump in and it will take you to California. And it's going to go, how scary is that? Right. It's not that scary yeah. compared yeah. to that. You know? Well, I think what you need to do is overcome the idea that AI is going to be used for evil terminator so, and yeah. yeah that whole thing and um <laughs> think about it though um where are we now end of 2023 it wasn't that long ago where nobody even knew anything about ai right i mean the concept was except the movies yeah. movies yeah with, with the advent of chat gbt everybody's now talking about it and i think the adoption of it is growing rapidly in terms of just the acceptance of it now the technology itself can do incredible things we haven't tapped into it properly yet but as a as a, a, a population ai people know it's here to stay now it's just a question of how do we leverage it to, to best use absolutely and i think what everyone's a little concerned about is we just came out of the whole bitcoin nft world where <laughs> everyone thought that was going to stay and it didn't it crashed and but this is so different i always say you know, this was tools that were kept, you know, for the biggest organizations. They had this. They were using it. That was their competitive edge. And now it has been opened up to every micro, small. Don't you think it's all converging a little bit? I mean, with crypto and digital and, and you know, um, the whole um, digital um, uh, the contracts that, that we now have, plus Web 3.0, plus AI, technologies are now converging into some super powerful absolutely you know revolution it's it's going to change fundamentally how we do so things it's it's like a rule of evolution right so technology is always was there and it's changing how comfortable we make our lifestyle right so ai is addition to yeah. like invention of a train invention of a plane <clears throat> now uh, we're using artificial intelligence and a computer power to make our life easy so it's, it's there to stay. Well, it's here to it's stay. Not, it's not going anywhere. So better yeah. get to I mean, Eric, Eric and I were just talking about that in California, I believe, two presidents of the two most powerful nations in the world are talking about AI mm. and how to control it. I, I guess the, the question isn't so much about the value of it. It's more about what jobs is it going to replace because yeah. it's so capable of really wiping out whole swathes of, of, of jobs we have today. So that, I guess that's the nervousness, I guess, you know. Well, I heard the, the analogy that when the steam shovel was invented, yeah. it was going to wipe out the whole ditch digging industry. And all those people who are digging ditches are not going to have a job. No? You know, it's funny. I, I had a conversation with Kanani. We were talking about... Um, uh, I think it was like the, the security layers, right? Well, we were talking about AI. We were talking about how AI is scraping images and scraping writings to rewrite or create new art. And meanwhile, I think it's, I'm not sure if it's Cambridge University or one of them, is got a recent AI um, like scrambler so that if you're typing in dog and when, and, and in that image out there, those images encoded with this scramble technology or whatever it is, it tells AI, it's cat. Hmm, and yeah. so when you talk about a job replacing something, I think what happens is you have this whole opposition or this whole um, other group of, or add-ons, or it creates a whole new world yeah, of, yeah. of opportunity. So for a job, it's one job is replacing with 10. It's a huge, it's going to be huge need of a cybersecurity, right? It's going to be huge need of compliances. Like we used to use a uh, copy, copyscape for a plagiarism. Oh gosh, right? yeah. Now it's, it's another version of it yeah. to see if somebody's plagiarizing. So <laughs> if, right. if we're, it's a good for a mankind 
that we're going into the, the hard labor jobs too, a skilled labor job. Because that's what AI is creating, it's creating a, um, advanced jobs. Yeah, and you know, I always say, we're having we, a lot of businesses are going through labor crisis, where people want more money, they're deserving of more money, but the position that they're in can't warrant that amount of effectiveness to, to give them that, that budget that they're looking for. This is now replacing jobs that no one wants to fill, and we can now take those people and put them into more meaningful positions that have that opportunity right. for growth. Well, again, so, what one yeah. or two job or job areas that it's going to replace, it's like trying to catch jelly. Yeah. Another few more yeah. are going to come because out. It's the, uh, the discomfort of knowing you're going to have to retool yeah. to survive. And I think that's where we are, where people are nervous about that part. But, but that's life, right? That's, well, that's it's, evolution. Right? It's yeah. like what we said, what you're talking about with luck. And Eric was saying that, well, there's really no luck. There is luck. You just have to be able to recognize it and then accept it and act on it. Yeah. And like once you act impact, on it, the opportunity, impact, right? there's going to be people that are just not going to grasp it, right? They're like, there's somebody out there that, <laughs> there's somebody out there that just learned Google two years ago, mm -hmm. right? Just learned just to, to, to spell it. <laughs> <laughs> but I think what happens is in the adoption, I think as more businesses at all levels adopt it. So it's not just the Googles and the Microsofts adopting AI, it's the click suites. It's the Ideal Institute's teaching it. It's you integrating it. Yep. It's us adopting it as a small business that helps helps sort of smooth that transition into getting others to adopt. There are just going to be some people. There's some people that still wish they had a beeper. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I, I give you again the plain example, right? So eventually everyone's going to fly. There are a lot of people who never fly before in their life. That doesn't mean that the planes are bad same way there will be a people who's not comfortable with the ai but eventually it's going to be as normal as we're going in an app and booking a flight so how does so again going back into the business adoption because again the focus is really for us we're business owners we're entrepreneurs we're teaching it to other so how do we get small businesses to get away from the i'm afraid to fly like that's our that's really our mission as people are adopting but also supporting. So for a small business, I think clearing clarifying the understanding how beneficial it is, it's gonna be like people are using it, Google Calendar. Mm. So any G Suits or any Microsoft product, now you can use the AI to respond. So somebody like me who learned English after coming here, who have inferiority complex in a grammatical mistake. I can use a plugin in a Gmail mm. or in a, in a Microsoft email <laughs> yeah. to generate the response. It, That's yeah. how normal it's going to be. Everybody's yeah, going to be exactly using right. It. It, it's even today, and it's very it's very short journey. AI is embedded in applications we're using, not even realizing it. it's yeah. embedded. It's behind the scenes. They may it may not tell you, but AI is running yeah. behind the scenes, working at your preferences, looking at what you bought, doing recommendations, all that kind of stuff. It's all AI driven, you're not even aware of it. So it's just people are slowly going to get used to the, the, the idea of it being every day. You know, so you're telling me I have to get rid of my rotary telephone? <laughs> well, it's like email. Remember, email That's first came out. There was they we had, had email them. stations. Remember, email, they weren't computers, they were separate up. For the people who didn't own a computer, so they got an email station, which died real quick, kind of yeah. like a Betamax. But a track. Email, email became adopted. And it became part of not only our personal lives, but our business lives. And now we're, we're, we, we, do, we depend on it. You can't it. live without yeah. it, yeah. I know people that said, I'll never use email. I like writing letters. Well, guess what? They yeah. changed that mentality pretty quickly. Yeah. Right? Same so, with like the smartphone. I'll never have apps on my phone because they do. Act, and everyone has apps. Yeah. <laughs> it's just part of natural progression of this. Yeah, yeah just familiarity and, and just, you know. But again, it's recognizing you know, the yeah, technology so, and being able to incorporate it and uh, all those people who are starting early I think they are going to be a very successful mm -hmm. in terms of a race because uh, sooner or later everybody's going to have to use it so if you're not using it you're going to be the product yeah yeah I've seen restaurants do incredible things with it be able to feed their menus in and say like here's our sales recommend me what we should do 
next. And there before that was that was a hard task on the owner. So as we wrap up this round table, does anybody want to give a piece of sage advice <laughs> about um, <laughs> I must get that not, all the time. <laughs> not fearing the use of AI for your business? Like what's a good good way to get past that fear? Let's hear that. I would say start with the task you hate doing the most. See what you can accomplish there. Huh. Yeah. And I, I, I would say uh, try once. It, it's like that small chicken piece at the at the restaurant that they give you for tasting, and you're gonna have a taste for it. I, I would suggest just because it's a lot of talk about AI, but just try chat GBT and see what it can do. You'll be amazed by what you can actually achieve with using that tool. That is just the tip of the iceberg of what AI can do. And I guess my final thing would be, if you have a business partner who knows about that stuff, make sure you're partnered with him and you feed him well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen, for everything. Thank you. Thank you. And we are out.